Hey, so I just thought I'd do a quick video to uh, explain how this, uh, how to set up the study that I just made. So uh, maybe it'll be a lot easier to uh, to understand. So I'm going to go in here to edit study. So uh, I already have the study set up on this chart here, on the one minute chart. This is one minute, and it's it has the label showing on this part, but not showing on the uh, the bottom part on the uh, volume graph. So I have one instance of the study set up up here with, that's customized to show the labels and one instance of the study down here that's customized to not show the labels. And they're both customized to be pink, colored, and solid lines. And so now I'm going to go over here and show you how I did that. And so now we're on the five minute time frame. I'm going to go to edit studies just for this chart, not for this chart. I'm editing studies just for this uh, bottom left hand side chart. I'm going to go time timelines. Whoops, wrong one. Timelines. And so you see, it's I've added that study to the price chart, the graph up here. But I'm also going to add another one and drag it down here to the um, the studies section down here. I'm going to add another one as well down here to the second study. So I should have one showing up here, and one showing up here, and one showing up on the main price graph. And so if I hit apply now, you'll see that uh, it shows up all the lines on, across all the studies and across the price chart. But now I want to go back and make sure I'm going to edit properties for the one on the price graph. I'm going to tell it to I want a solid line, uh, and I do want it to show labels, and I want the color to be pink. So I'm going to apply that, and you can see that it changed it, but just up here. It didn't change it at these down here because those are separate instances, one here, one here, and the main one that I just edited right here. So now I'm going to go into those, edit properties. Uh, I don't want to show labels at the bottom, um, and I want that to be solid, and I want this to be pink. I apply that, and so it changed it there. Now I go to the final one, um, change the color to pink, make it a solid line, and I hit apply. And so now they're all in alignment here. So I'm hoping that will explain it to you. Um, as far as the labels up at the top, that's not possible to do in Thinkorswim. Uh, they just by default they're all aligned to the what would be the left hand side if you turned your head and looked at it It's a aligned left like normal text would be the only way to get it up at the top would be to hit a bunch of space bars space it all the way over uh, But then if you resize the chart at any point say you maximize it like this well in the The uh, labels might be here in the middle instead of up at the top like they were in the small chart So I, I don't think that would be a good workaround um, but, uh, and as far as the length of the title, um, the title length is long, but it, the only place that really shows up is right here in the studies, uh, window. And it, what it is, is you can customize each of these numbers, each of these, uh, time frames, uh, in the properties. You can specify them yourself if you ever want to change it. And so anytime you have an input, uh, for a study in Thinkorswim, they're going to add that input to the title so you know what all the settings are currently set at when you're looking at it. Uh, so like here, Williams Vix Fix, which I have down here, this shows all the different settings that, that the user can, can alter for that study. And for the VWAP, it's set to, uh, you know, uh, a, a two standard deviation or something like that. I can't remember what that's about. And so these are just the inputs that the user is able to customize. And because I have a lot of customizable options for this uh, study, it, the title is a little bit longer than, you know, the, the typical study. Anyway, I hope that answers the questions. Talk to you later.